So after severe storm system, after severe storm system, it looks like we're done for a little bit. But nonetheless, we got plenty of rainfall all across Central Texas. These are the numbers from yesterday's system, and you know what? Most of the southern areas got a little bit more. So Waco got the most on Wednesday. Temple and Colleen got the most with the system from yesterday. Even Gatesville as well as College Station got over about three quarters of an inch. Overall, not as bad as what we saw on Wednesday led to a lot less flash flooding. But nonetheless, hey, you know what? It's rain. We could certainly use it. This is going to be excellent for any of our drought conditions. Our new drought monitor is released on Thursday. You can bet that I'm going to be covering that 71 right now in Waco and Temple 72 Colleen 70 in Bryan College Station. 69 Houston overall nice cool conditions all across the region and it's all thanks to the fact that well that cold front it is behind us it is bringing a lot of severe weather out now to the eastern part of the US but my focus is on this little high pressure system. It's going to start pushing its way into our region, leaving us pretty cloud free for the next couple of days and temperatures are going to remain relatively mild. Now they're nice and cool today because well that front came and went and you know what tonight it's going to be even cooler. I got us going down to about 48 degrees, still decently strong winds, but not as breezy as what we saw throughout the day today. I'm not seeing 35 40 mile per hour gusts lasting into the overnight hours. As a matter of fact, it should be calming down enough that you can enjoy the lake forecast on your Sunday, but temperatures. Yeah, they're taking a big little jump. I'm talking those mid to upper 80s are back in the forecast. Here's what I got for you for the next couple of days. We start to see that high pressure system sitting right down to our south, but you see a cold front starting to come its way into our area by Sunday morning. Now this front actually really has nothing with it. We just have basically a little bit of cloud cover trying to make its way in. It stalls out over North Texas and then basically doesn't really do much other than give us a little bit of those leftover clouds, so nothing to worry about there. As a matter of fact, it's going to to start warming up as quick as tomorrow. 85 is what I have. We do start to see a little bit more cloud cover slowly but surely trying to make its way back into the forecast by the middle of next week as those winds shift around. I do have slight rain chances as our next system starts to make its way in, but I'm not too worried about that.